Okay, so I've glued three out of my four pieces of paper on. Remember, I'm gluing from the top down to the bottom, and I'm overlapping every time. So this is the background right here, and it's covered by the middle ground. And then this last piece I'm going to add is going to be the foreground, which means it's in the front. So the way I'm gluing, I just thought I'd show you this. We have a little container of glue. We have a paintbrush. I'm kind of swirling it around. It's real drippy. So you can kind of turn your brush or wipe it off on the edge, but you should not be dripping glue everywhere. If you are, then you're just not really paying attention. Okay, so wipe it off. I'm just gluing. You don't have to glue the entire piece of paper, but you want to get a good outline of glue. And then especially this brown paper that's thicker than our other paper, you want to put a pretty good amount of glue on that. All right, so now I'm just going to... Lay that there. There's a little bit of blue showing on the edge, so what I'll have to do right here is just cut that little piece off, okay? Also, y'all can see the back. There's paper hanging over, so I'll cut that off as well. We might not cut that off today, but we will cut that off tomorrow. So now you can see we have our landscape. We have the background. Um, this, I would consider this the background, the middle ground is kind of in the middle, and then this right here is the foreground. Um, now we need to take our houses and position them in the landscape. So, you wouldn't have a house like sitting right on top of that mountain. Um, you might have one like this. You don't want to put them right on top because then they would be actually leaning over if it, was, if it were real. So, you want to kind of set them to where the flat side is fully on one of the shapes. So you can glue those. Some students took their houses, and if you can see this, this open part, they took one and kind of slid it into there, and you bend it and slide it into the other side. Then you could have a double house or a two-story house. You can slide it all the way in and have a house with a double roof. It's however you want to do this, or you can just take them and put them down separately. If you have three houses, it might be nice to um, put two together. So it's up to you how you want to do that. But what you're going to do, since these are open on the back like this, they have this flap, first thing you need to do is glue that flap down. So take this, put some glue on the flap, and then close it. Okay, so now that flap, I can glue that down. All right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just look at the back of this house, put some glue on the back, and I am going to slide it right there into my landscape. That looks a little odd because it's on top of that other one. So let me put it there. Okay. I'm doing this upside down. I'm hoping that it's sitting correctly. All right. Other house, I'm going to glue the flap down. And then I'm going to glue it into my landscape. Now my houses, I have not added any detail to. And hopefully you got to add detail to yours last week. But if you didn't, you can go ahead and do that now. So there's my other house. And there you go. That's what you should have done today. You should have... Everything glued down. Nothing should be left unglued. Now you will have some extra paper that you're not going to use. And what I would like you to do with these um, is share with your peers. Because there are some people who were not here when we painted and they're going to need some painted paper. So you can share with them and that will be very helpful to them. Next week we are going to put punch holes in here. And we're going to create a whip stitch around the edge to make it look like a textile, which is fabric. Um, and then we'll also use some puffy paint just to kind of make it more fun. So that's what you should have done today. Right now, before I give you all of your paper, go ahead and take your, your blue paper and write your name on the back. Because once you glue your other paper down... Um, you won't have your name on anything, so your name should be on the back of your blue paper. This goes on the drying rack when we're done, and I will have one person collect all the brushes to go rinse the glue out of them. All right, have fun!